was an is not what you want to use for this next episode. Well, Go. Yeah. That was, that was just the worst <laughs> lounge singer that I've ever encountered. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Crackwisians. Welcome oh. back to another exciting episode of Conley's Corner. Yes. We hope it is. It's um, uh, uh, <laughs> along the medical line. It week, will be. It, it's important. Yes. I'm Crackwise Magazine. Especially after all that corned beef. Editor in chief, Kathy Buckle. We have Fun Bastard Ollie, Cousin Mookie, Oscar and Moe up front. Joe Bot is here too because we're technically savvy. Or he's thinking about taking over the plant. Yeah. I don't know. And comedian Mike Conley. I'm not even about thinking about taking over a nap. So don't worry about me. <laughs> Yeah, we do like to get medical. Yeah, we every like night we have to. We like to talk about all kinds of things because we care about you. And so let's talk about your butt. Now, of course you know how to wipe your butt. Yes, you do. Or do you? Just so you know, if you're not wiping correctly, you could be vulnerable to a urinary tract infection or you could aggravate existing butt conditions. So here are three proper ways to wipe your booty. Wipe from front to back. You learned that when you were a kid, right? There's far more bacteria in the back door region. That is why you don't want me dragging anything from the back door to the front door. That, correct. Right, you don't want any unwanted visitors coming through the front door. So that's why you gotta go this way when you're doing it, all right? Also, don't scrub. If you have the hemorrhoids, you feel like you need to vigorously rub with toilet paper to get things clean. And yes, hemorrhoids cause folds and that makes things tough to clean so we know why you're scrubbing in there, but maybe you can time dropping the dew so you can shower afterwards or maybe get yourself a bidet. Yeah. Squirt, squirt, cleaning things or up there. Or a garden hose if, you know, you can't <laughs> afford a bidet. Could you imagine someone, a garden hose from outside through the bathroom window? I mean, whatever you got to like, do. Well, Larry's got worries again. He's got the garden hose coming through the window. <laughs> and also, skip the store-bought wipes. Yes, they, they can be irritating because if they're scented. That's a delicate area there. So choose unscented for sensitive skin if you have to go the moist wipes. Oh. For oh. there. Gonna upset some subscribers. That's okay, but it's actually M word. It's actually what it is. All right, so those are the proper ways to take care of business. But you know, there are things you shouldn't wipe your butt with. You got that right, lady. <laughs> Listen, th I'll be honest. The, the research on this was a pain in the ass. Oh, um, oh, yeah, yeah. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where to start? I had to open a second browser to even research this. So, from browser number two. Oh, no, no. First, uh, first thing you don't want to use is your iPhone. Oh, no, yeah, no, you're looking at well, it, but no. Because, you, well, it's in there with you because you're playing some game in there, Wordle or something while you're turtling, so. You're playing, you got it with you, but don't use it because it's got a lot of apps on it, but it ain't got an ass app, all right? And I'm pretty sure that's not where butt dialing came from. Oh, uh, uh, I'm puckering. Yeah, well, mm. you what? Oh, okay. Also, you don't want to use your car keys. Oh! Yeah, um, because I don't care if you got a key to the back door of your house or not. You're not using that back door key. <laughs> Okay. No. Because then it certainly redefines pop in the trunk. Oh, no. As well as push start. Now, <laughs> not to mention when it sets off the car alarm with a good fart, now what do you do? <laughs> that would be the worst. That would be the would greatest be the worst. thing ever. And finally, don't use your bank card to wipe your butt. Ooh. Because, well, yes, it's an easy swipe. Well, we know that. It's an easy, but which mm. way does the, the thing go? Does the skid mark on the card match the other skid marks? We don't know. And how do you enter your PIN number? Is that a reach around? What is that? We don't know. Don't use your card. The visual on that one is just so disturbing. I can't even. <laughs> I can't. 
That sounds like a private conversation. Drink recipe of the week at the bottom of the page. <laughs> Edward Conley will not be taking any <laughs> transactions. <laughs> any debit cards. No, don't even try it. Even when you see him, it's tempting, but don't. Yeah, I mean, if you want to reach around and change your password, <laughs> I, I'm not necessarily going to be uncomfortable. Beep, 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 <laughs> beep. Whew, okay, um, make sure you like us on social media. That would be wonderful. And go to crackwisemag.com and sign up for our newsletter. You don't want to miss this. I mean, come on. This is like the best entertainment ever. Whew. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Or is that everybody? Everybody. <laughs> Today's episode of Conley's Corner is brought to you by the most recent developments in the banking world. We want to present you with a new credit card, the Master Turd. Oh, no! No! No, I'm blaming you for that one. Yeah, you know what? I, I, that's your fault. Me. That's my fault. Yeah, because we don't You know opened if, the door. We don't, yeah, the back door. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know if he'd have went there or not. We don't. But now we do. Yep, he did. And we're sorry. Now the special chip reader in blueberry flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Thank you, everybody.